Good morning. Good morning, good morning, everybody. Good morning, Jamie. Good morning, Faisal. Good morning, everybody. How are we doing? Right, where, where were we? Where were we? Where were we? Um, yeah, I was just finishing this bit, wasn't I? How are we doing? Is everyone having a good day so far? Morning, Hayley. How are you? Thank you for your contributions, guys. It's all starting to add up. <laughs> I want to keep this really nice and light because it's very light back there. I uh, failed miserably, no not miserably, I failed at connections this morning. I got two categories and then just couldn't work out the two final categories. And when they showed me what the answers were, I was really, really cross with it. <laughs> it's like, how dare they, how dare they use that as a category. Right, okay, so I'm getting these last dark feathers done. <sighs> yeah, go do it, Jamie, and see if you can guess which category was the one that really wound me up. There's still some debris from that eraser on there. Oh, you got Wordland 2 yesterday. Oh, wow. Um, how many times did it take to get Wordle this morning? I think it was in three. I think it was three today. And that's the way it is. Um, oh, hang on. There is a dark section, isn't there? Let me just get my sepia. Where is it? There we go. Okay, so it just needs a slight teal to it. When I took the dog out for a walk this morning, I ran into this lady that had got a spaniel that was literally pulling her down the road. And of course the dogs wanted to sort of like say hello to one another. And it was only when she got up close did I realise it was the headmistress from my kids' infant school. 
and uh, I'd like got my sunglasses on and my baseball cap and my hair was up and I, I went oh hello missus and said her name and um, she just looked at me blankly like okay you could see you could see the thought process go across her face as in okay this person knows me I should know who she is why don't I know who she is and I had to literally take off my take off my glasses take off my hat and say it's Mrs whatever and um she's like oh my god yes oh my gosh how how are your four so I was like yeah they're doing all right they're doing all right but you could see you could see the relief on her face that I'd sort of let her off by not making her struggle for the name that I sort of gave the name to her <laughs> I mean, I think if you're in a job like that and you get, you know, like a head teacher or just a teacher in general and you've retired, you've left the profession, you've been gone for years and then you suddenly meet a parent out and about. I mean, because there must be hundreds, right? There must be absolutely hundreds of parents and children's names that at one time of day you did know and now you don't. It was good to see it though. I did think that she was a a decent head teacher. It was hard. Okay, so you did it. But okay, can you guess which category really made me mad? Because I thought that shouldn't have been a category. Because when you're looking for those categories, you're looking for word association, you're looking for... Um, you know, does that word go with another word? Are they all the same colour? Are they all the names of something? Just need a slightly... The last two was horrible. Yeah, it was the one that was where the words were all anagrams of one another. And I was just like, what? Are you kidding me? I was trying to think of all the different associations with Tesla. And I was like, how does that, how does Tesla fit in with it? And my brain was going all over the place. And at the end, it was just a blooming anagram. <laughs> I was really cross. <sighs> Anywho. I shouldn't get wound up by a silly word game, but. I tried playing that um, password game that James was doing the other day on his stream because I thought, oh, that looks interesting. That looks fun. So I'll do that. And I was doing fine right up until the whole chess notation thing. I was like, I, I don't know chess notation. I just move pieces on the board. Don't ask me what chess no I had to look up chess notation. And by the time I'd done that, I was like, well, I don't know what the best move is. I just gave up. Because I think he had chess notations in the games that 
he showed on his stream and I thought if chess notations is going to be in it every time then I don't want to know this game. That was my little my little strop, my throwing my toys out the pram. needs a little bit That raised the lift of colour. That's annoying. Interesting. I've got a question for you guys. How many coloured pencils do you think I've used so far in this portrait? I have been keeping count each day. How many different colours so far would you guess at? I'd be interested to see what you think it is. Twelve, ten, no. That's a bit low. I thought I'd try and sort of keep track. And I looked at the total this morning just as I was setting up and I thought, oh, I wonder if anyone knows. <laughs> Haley's a little bit closer. Oh, Faisal's getting closer. Correct. 37 different coloured pencils so far on this portrait. crazy isn't it you think about all the different shades of blue the greys the oranges the yellows the whites the creams 37 different ones there's been little bits of brown there's been little bits of yellow all the greens the oranges yeah all the shading
I'll tell you what though, I was saying to Becca after yesterday's stream that this drawing so far for me has really been a sort of lesson in perseverance because when I first started drawing it I was like I don't like how I've done the beak and then I did the head bit and I thought okay I like this bit and then as I started going down here I was like I don't like it I don't like it I could do better I could do better I don't like it but then I don't know there was one bit I think it was around this section here when this section started to go in that I thought you know what now I've got the disheveled bit in this section here that I wasn't liking began to make more sense and as I proceeded further down the bird and you know added in the belly and everything like yesterday I was like Do you know what I really really love this drawing and without blowing my own trumpet I'm quite proud of it and I was just thinking back of what it was like at the beginning when I was just like hmm not sure so I'm really sort of glad that I did persevere with the drawing because things can change right okay so this bit there's a lot A lot of feathers here laid on top of one another. Um, does it go there? That goes there, doesn't it? Just slightly off. I just need to elongate the end of that feather just a bit more. Where did that green go? Over here. This really doesn't have much left to go on it. Need that shade to go into that black now. I'm going to try and push the colour into it. So let me just see the 
this has a sort of section here. I'll tell you what I've started watching on um, Netflix and I'm sort of binge watching through it. I don't know if anyone else has seen it, but The Lincoln Lawyer. It's really, really good. I thought it was just one season and I sort of got to the end of season one the other night. I sort of stayed up late just to sort of get to the end of season one. And as we got to the end, it sort of said next episode and I was like, huh? And yeah, there's another season. I don't know if there's more than one season. Uh, sorry, more than two seasons on there. I've not checked, but it's really good. Has anyone else seen it? not seen it oh if it's um if you like sort of you know legal shows it's it's really good it's really clever i think it was based on the books by michael connolly But yeah, I really like it. Right. Well, I highly recommend it anyway. I like watching like clever courtroom stuff. And it was why I enjoyed, um, I remember A Few Good Men. Was it A Few Good Men that uh, Tom Cruise played like a lawyer? And, you know, they sort of, when they have these shows where they sort of put the lawyer or their client in like, you can't see how they could possibly, possibly uh, be innocent or, you know, escape prosecution or whatever it is. And then the lawyer, though they're the good guys, though, and the lawyer somehow manages to find something. And it's really, really cleverly done. It's just, I, I love all that sort of stuff. I guess it's like the um, like the John Grisham novels. You know, the first few that he wrote, um, you know, The Firm, Paddock and Brief, those sort of things. I loved those. But I haven't kept up with his latest stuff. I don't know why. I really ought to, because I do like that sort of stuff. Right, um, let's go in with the light and then I can go darker later.
what sort of shows do you guys like watching on like I know Netflix or Amazon Prime always on the lookout for some good recommendations It's got a line in it, let's get rid of that. You don't really watch much TV, mainly YouTube. Um, yeah, to be honest, so do I. Uh, I haven't watched anything except Marvel TV shows, but I think the last one before that was re-watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Yeah. Yeah, I like Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I'll tell you which Marvel TV show I was actually disappointed with was Loki. Because I really like Loki as a character. And when they said that they were going to do, you know, give him his own series, I thought, oh, this is going to be brilliant, full of, you know, Loki's trickery and comedy and it's going to be amazing and I just felt like yeah exactly they made him into a victim and I don't know it was just it just wasn't what I was expecting I was so disappointed in Loki the tv show I love him in the movies he's great in the movies and I was expecting that sharpness of character that we got in the movies in the series and it didn't oh she hulk yeah you see that's that's another one it was like i don't know it was too comic like cartoonish for me she hulk it was like give her the abilities and that you know that the main hulk has got yeah she can turn green yay great but there was just no complexity to the character i mean that the the guy hulk you know he's incredibly intelligent and I don't know. I think they just made it for teenage. It was almost like it was made for teenagers, if you know what I mean, like really young teenagers or maybe even people younger than that. And I just don't think that they did She-Hulk justice. I wanted She-Hulk to be more like um, Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman, if that makes sense. Maybe a little bit stronger than that. Give it some fire. Uh, they tried to make it similar to Deadpool, even though it's a different character with the fourth wall breaking. Yeah, exactly. It was. It wasn't right.
I'm looking forward to seeing the next Deadpool with uh, Wolverine. And I'm really hoping there's some of that, you know, Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman sort of riff off each other in real life. I'm really hoping that that carries through into the movie. I think that'll be amazing if they do that. Oh, hi, Official Steiny. How are you? Been enjoying the art that you've been posting. Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You're drawing right now. Oh, okay. What are you drawing? Okay, so let me just think. Where do these come down? Okay, so I'm going to need this to start off with. Let me just get rid of this pencil. I've just got to get these bottom feathers sort of sorted and in situ before I can bring the rest of this bright blue down. A robot. Oh, excellent. Right, now I need a different blue now, which is, which is going to be the best one. I think probably this. It's two new colours just now, so we're up to 39, guys. <laughs> I was watching an artist the other day and um, oh, I can't remember her name, but she does a lot of um, 
steampunk animals. I think it's Benita, somebody. I think she's on TikTok. I don't think she's on here. And she just does these amazing drawings of, well, oh, the one I was watching her do, it was an octopus, but it was a steampunk octopus. So it got all of the, um, you know, all the, all the cogs and everything all, all over it. It was it was amazing and she was just sort of doing it from her imagination you know because obviously she didn't have a a draw like a source picture or anything like that yeah steampunk drawings are, are awesome right okay um i think i need to do this this bit over here and then I can get in the orange bloom that's on the side okay have a drink hang on everybody have a drink oh that coffee's cold uh -huh. um yeah that one hang on no that comes there doesn't it okay and then the shadows underneath. Right, okay. So I, I'm, I know where I am now. This is still the number one playlist that we were playing yesterday. Oh my God, I'd forgotten Timmy Malik got to number one with itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini. First time today. Polka dot bikini. Um, where's my black? There we go. Let me just think, where does this orange bloom, I don't know if you can see on the source pick, but there's just a little bit of orange here and there's another little bit here, but I need to get the right, right orange and a sharp orange. Uh, hang on, let me just do a little bit of a little bit of ivory just to lighten where it's going to be <sighs> okay so 
about here. Yellow polka dot bikini. Okay, you can barely see that, but it is there. Right, and then the second bit is here. But I have some ivory bits there. And that just helps show where the other side of the bird is. And I'll just go over it with the ivory just to sort of soften it because it's really quite blurred on the picture. So we don't want it to be really defined. It wants to be soft and blurry. Blend, blend, blend. <sighs> yeah, I think you can, you can just about see it on the screen. It's a lot clearer in person. When I put the picture on Discord, you'll be able to see it better oh that reminds me for those that don't know I've put a selection of pictures um, I think I put it in general chat of possibilities that uh, we could draw next so if you wanted to pop on over to discord and vote for your favorite if there is something that if you don't like any of those pictures that's fine too if you want to suggest an animal for me to draw. I am quite happy to have suggestions too. I want to be drawing stuff that you guys are interested in seeing get created on the screen. So if you don't like any of the suggestions that I've picked out so far that I quite the, quite like the look of, then, you know, tell me. So you might want, I don't know, randomly pick animals out the top of my head. You might want a grizzly bear or a penguin or a zebra or an earwig. <laughs> I don't know if 
if something you would like to see me draw then suggest it to me as long as it's an animal right okay so I've got that little bloom at the side so that's that's better so right now let's bring this down more um, I'll bring it down to about here to get rid of that pencil mark <laughs> voting here we can <laughs> Tell you what though chat looking up close i've really pressed down hard on some of these pencil lines so when i next do a piece of line art i'm gonna have to do it slightly differently i think so i don't get these indentations because they're problematic and i can actually feel that yeah so I've pressed quite hard. I did see another way of doing it yesterday, so I will try a new technique. When I do the next one. Oh, I wonder if that was Nick coming in. Papa J Forms has been out at the dentist this morning having a filling fixed. He had an appointment at 10 past nine. So that might be him I just heard coming back in. I hate having fillings done. This section has got really long, long, straight feathers. I'm not trying to go in it too deep because it is quite light compared to the rest of the bird, but I just need to get some different blues in to get those highlights. So I'm just going in with this base of light cobalt turquoise to begin with. some of the other colours that I can see here.
this is definitely a section in which I will use my scratch tool, that's for sure. Okay, so there are some other blues. Let me sharpen this. Fine markings. scary putting in these darker marks when it's a section that's so light but needs to be done Okay. Lights and darks. I've got to remember lights and darks is the thing that is really going to help with the realism. And not to be afraid of it. Those marks that go under there, so I need this. Um, so it's tearing. I'm going to leave that little light bit there because I really think that just sort of helps with the, the sun or the light is catching on that little section there. But I need there to be enough layers of colour for the scratch tool. 
slice tool rather. this a little bit. So I'm just using this really, really lightly. shouldn't have to use it with a heavy hand because that will ruin the paper. does this need it? This just really helps add that sort of feathery, feathery look. as well. Okay, right, next section. Let me just take these marks out. So this comes down here too, okay. So I've got this indentation again, which is annoying, but my own fault. Oh, 
Wasn't this Billy Piper who sang this song? Who ended up being Rose Tyler in Doctor Who? I think she was like 16 or something when she started a pop career, I think. From what I remember. just a bit more shadow on these lighter blue feathers here at the bottom I like this ivory pencil. There's <sighs> quite a little workhorse in it, it does a lot. <laughs> Sing it, Jamie. How's your head today? I forgot to ask. Are you fully recovered from your self inflicted headache? going over some of those slice marks with the ivory pencil it just really helps sort of lift out the colour not fully but better <laughs> is it not fully you must have really had a skin full oh my goodness well I'm glad you're feeling it a little bit better Right, okay, so I think that's where we will leave it today. Um, and then I think tomorrow, hopefully, we'll get the rest of the feathers done. And then we'll just have the little um, branch that it's perched on in its foot. So, yeah, good. Okie dokie. Well, thanks for joining me today, everybody. You've been a pleasure as always. Uh, really good company. Thank you for joining me. And I hope you all have a fabulous day. And I will see you tomorrow. So love to you all guys. Take care. Bye.